Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing my makeup a full face of nothing but Ulta products that I got and that I showed you in my previous Ulta haul. If you want to see the haul video, you can check it out up there. But today I'm going to be using all of the products and trying them out, doing a very first impression on everything. So the only thing that I don't have new is an eyeshadow palette, but it is a drugstore palette, the one that I chose for today's video. I do have new eyeliner, new falsies and all that. So I wanted to include the eyes in the video today too. One more thing I wanted to mention is my hair. I finally straightened it. I haven't straightened it in a while. While. and i'm actually really really proud of myself because it has taken me so long to grow it out and make it healthy if you guys have seen my previous videos talking about my hair and just everything wrong that went with it um you know how much i have been struggling trying to grow it back out trying to make it healthy and look at it it's growing the layers in the front aren't exactly where i wish they were but it's getting there it's getting there and today it just looks really nice and i'm really happy with it but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get started on the video so let me start off by picking one of these i think i want to try this one i'm more excited about this one just because i see a lot more people using it and i want to see what it's all about so i'm gonna go ahead and wet it this is the size of it right now okay, so this is it right here it has two pointy ends and it's this very light color but i'm gonna go ahead and wet it i just kind of wanted you to see the size of it let's compare it to my hand so there we go i'm gonna go wet it right now wet it it didn't get super super big i mean it did change in size but it's not well maybe now compared to my hand it is a little bigger i'm gonna start off with the florence sunny skies facial moisturizer with spf 30. i really needed a new sunscreen and i saw this one i was like okay let me try it out so this is how this looks it is just white and creamy i'm not gonna apply too much at first we'll see how much product i need i think that was a lot of product though i'll just go ahead and apply it all over my face and i told you guys in my haul video it does not smell like sunscreen but it does feel very very uh, moisturizing i was gonna say smooth but it does feel smooth just very creamy it is making my face look a little whitish so hopefully it feels kind of sticky now that it's drying down. Hopefully it looks good underneath foundation and just doesn't break my makeup apart. Okay, so moving on to the eyes. Let me start off with this warm brown right there. And I'm going to use a big, big fluffy brush and just apply this everywhere. Really blend it up towards my brow. This is a really pretty color. They did come out with a, with two more of these palettes. One's a green and one is a berry, berry tone, which is also really pretty. I'm going to apply that all over the eyelid. I want to see how this reddish tone looks on my eyelid. I have not used that one before. Oh, that does look pretty. They feel really, really smooth, by the way. Like the formula is really soft. I'm going to blend these in together. I feel like I don't really see new eyeshadow palettes too much like being announced or like new releases of new eyeshadow products. So let me know if you've tried any new ones from the drugstore. All right, so then for the inner corner, not the inner corner, but like the inner part of the lid and kind of halfway down, I'm going to use this one on the corner. It looks like a really pretty shimmery light shade. And I will be using the MAC Prep and Prime. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this. On the inner part of the eyelid. It looks really shiny, really pretty. It's a lot more shimmery than I thought it was gonna be. Like in a good way. I'm gonna take that red shade one more time and just apply it out here in the outer corner. I think though that I might go in with a dark brown just to deepen it up. So for that, I think I'll do this warm one on the bottom and just focus this one on the outer corner. So it is a dark brown, not super, super, super intense, but it still looks nice. I like it, like it's a cute palette. It's looking nice, but I'm just, I feel like all the colors are just kind of blending in together. Okay, but the next new product is this one called the NYX Epic Wear. One of my favorite eyeliners is from NYX. It's called Matte Liquid Eyeliner or Matte Velvet Liquid Eyeliner. I can't remember, but it was a super, super matte eyeliner that I love. I actually have it, but I am running out, so I wanted to try this one to maybe replace it because I cannot find this one on the website anymore. So this one actually does look a little smaller, but this one is the one that I have. Like I said, I'm running out, but I'm going to try this one out so that I could see if it's going to replace that one, you know? And this one has a brush applicator. It's just like a long 
little brush. It's kind of gooey. It's not as it's not gliding on us smoothly. I think I just made it super thick. That does not look like it's drying unless I got, I don't know, a bad one, an expired one. It just doesn't let me create a clean line on top. It just looks really, really thick. It just doesn't look like it wants to dry. I feel like if I open my eyes all the way, it might get on my eyelid too. Unless it's just super shiny and it's just going to look like that. But for sure, it looks nothing and feels nothing like the matte liquid liner. It doesn't feel like it. doesn't look like it. doesn't apply like it. Nothing. It's nothing compared to that. I was going to wait to do my lower lash line until I was done with the rest of my face, but I'll just do it now just because I feel like the eyeliner is not drying and I don't want to put on my falsies like that. Okay, so I'll just use some of the same shades that Shimmer got everywhere. That first light brown on the bottom. And then I'll just use the dark the dark brown one on the closer to the closer to the lower lashes. And I'm actually going to use a brown eyeliner on my waterline, so this would be perfect. I'll just go ahead and use this one from Benefit. And this one is the Batagal Bang uh, in the color Deep Brown. So I'm going to move on to the eyelashes. Finally, it, it really did dry already. And it actually does look pretty matte and super black. But I just don't love the formula or how it applies. I'm going to skip on the wing. I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to use my falsies. These are some new ones from Eyler London. And these are the Lux XL Foam Ink. They look really pretty, very spiky, like right here in the center of the eye, which is what I prefer for my eyes because if I get some that are super long on the end, I feel like it makes my eye look droopy. Wow, <laughs> that completely changed up the look. It made it look like 10 times more dramatic. They just look so different to me. I don't think I've worn some lashes this long before, but it's because of the spikes. The spikes make it look super extra long, which they're cute though. It's like it has thin hairs. In between and then the longer spikes so i don't know i think that looks really cute it really transformed my look now we have some fun products to try the foundation that i'm going to use is the revolution irl filter i did swatch this one and it seemed really really full coverage i'm gonna use this sponge it didn't get any bigger it's been a little while it still feels pretty squishy like i can almost just hear the water in there so it doesn't feel the same as my beauty blender yeah it doesn't it just feels a little bit a little bit different but i really want to try it but i'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation it seemed from whenever i did show it to you in the haul video that the shade is a good match for me but we'll see oh and what shade did i get it in in the shade f6 okay it's looking okay you know what i'm gonna try i'm gonna try the other side with a brush just to see the difference it looks kind of medium coverage. I don't see it covering up some redness that I have on my cheeks. Or maybe it's just a sponge that it's picking up some of the product. The sponge is okay. I feel like it's easy to get in these corners. Yeah, I feel like it's either the sponge that's picking up a lot of the foundation or the foundation is like a medium, light medium coverage. So like I said, I'm going to try the other side with the brush and I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill JH03 brush. What's the one that I mainly use for foundation? Yeah. Oh my god. This made a difference. By the way, the foundation smells a little bit like paint. <laughs> it just smells like that wet and wild squared bottled foundation. This side is applying way, way better. So that means it has something to do with the sponge. Because this one's giving me a lot of coverage. Like a lot more. It's looking a lot smoother. Now I can see filter-like, you know. So what do you guys think? Do you see a difference? Because I can definitely tell that this side looks a lot more full coverage, which I'm okay with using two types of foundations. I just didn't feel like it was looking like the swatch. From the swatch, it looked like, you know, a full coverage foundation. So that's what I was expecting. And then when it looked just a little bit sheer on this side, I could tell it was a sponge. It just has a weird feeling to it, like a texture to it. I know I'm so used to the regular Beauty Blender, so I'm going to compare everything to that one. Um, it's not that it's bad. I just feel like it's picking up a lot of the products, so it's not as full coverage as I would like my foundations to be. I just have to try the sponge with the foundation that I use all the time to really, truly see if it applies my makeup differently, you know? But I do really like this side with the brush. I feel like it looks really smooth, full coverage. The finish is kind of like a... 
in between matte shim uh, not shimmery but like glowy so kind of like a natural finish to it it does say that it is a breathable breathable in real life soft matte oh okay so it is a soft matte finish um but yeah it does feel a little bit just a tiny bit heavy like it doesn't feel completely natural weightless it does not feel like that but let's move on so the next product that i'm going to use is the oma concealer this one i got in the shade number two which is white pearl and this one has a really thick doe foot applicator so let me just apply it here i feel like it's the exact same shade as the foundation or even a little bit darker so i wonder how it's gonna work out, but I think it'll be okay. I'll apply a little bit. If I need more, I'll apply more, but I'm still gonna use the sponge. I feel like this is a good one for these corners, like the inner corner. It's blending out nicely, but it's looking a little sheer. On the other side, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender just to see the difference. Yeah, you guys, for sure, the beauty blender does not pick up a lot of the product. It doesn't suck up the product, you know? You don't want... your you don't want your sponges to just be picking up all of your makeup so lately i have been cream contouring a lot and i have been loving it i just feel like it's been giving my face just a better look i don't know i feel like i've been loving my makeup a lot more ever since i've been bronzing correctly and contouring correctly but today i don't have a cream contour or a contour stick or anything like that so i will just end up using the bronzer at the end which is a powder but before that i am going to apply this blush this one is by elf it is the luminous putty primer and i mean luminous putty blush and it's called isla del sol i'll use my finger first and just apply it up here it's a pretty orange shade and i'm gonna blend it out with the sponge so it's looking nice it's pretty sheer though i can barely see it i mean it's nice that it blends out really easily but i'm not seeing a lot of the product i just feel like i already said it a million times but i feel like the sponge is picking up the product so let me go over it with the brush and usually whenever I apply cream blush, I do use this brush. So if I were to use this, I for sure would use this brush anyway, which is just this contour brush from Real Techniques with one of the gold handles. So there's the blush. It does look pretty. I mean, it blended out nicely and it's a pretty, pretty shade. I do like that. And I'm going to go in with a new powder. This one is the Morphe Bake and Set Setting Powder in the color Translucent. I'm going to use it like I do my other powders. I'm going to use this sponge with it. And I'm going to set my entire face with the sponge. Oh, that does look really pretty. The powder it just made my under eye look super smooth. Okay, so I'm liking the sponge for setting. It just it's doing a good job. And I normally do like my sponge to be damp when I'm setting my powder. Like setting with the powder. And because this one I feel like it feels still like pretty wet like the way that it soaks up products it still has that water in it it's setting my makeup pretty good i kind of stopped using a brush to set my makeup sometimes i do when especially whenever i'm in a hurry but most of the time now i set my makeup with the sponge okay so that's the powder it looks really smooth it looks nice it set my makeup nicely and it looks good on my skin like it feels and looks good on my skin so i'm gonna use the bronzer next and I'm just going to take my big bronzer brush. This one is the Morphe Bronze Show. The Matte Velvet Press Powder in the color Bronze Show. It does look very, very warm. So I hope it works Works for me. Works pretty good. I don't see any shimmer. It's just matte. But that's a pretty shade. Yeah, you can really apply a lot of product if you're not careful. That actually looks kind of like if I was wearing blush and bronzer at the same time. Okay, so for my forehead, I have mainly been bronzing the top. I don't really go around anymore. I used to do that. But maybe for your face shape, you don't need to. So, I mean, I do apply a little bit, but I just don't go all the way around. You know, I mainly do it up here. And then on the sides over here, I do go up towards the brow. But I'm not trying to connect the entire bronzer all over my face. I mainly do it on the top of my forehead. I think I went too low with the bronzer right here but i'm gonna try to clean it up with the powder and i do apply bronzer all around my jaw and then i'm actually going to take a smaller brush because then it's just going to be a mess 
but I'm gonna uh, bronze my nose and yes I'm bronzing where I would normally apply contour so I haven't really applied highlight too much lately I've been doing a lot of matte matte looks so I am excited to try this one from Colourpop this one is the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Flip Flops it's very smooth and creamy and you can easily just stick your whole finger in there if you're not careful but this is how it looks it's so so creamy and very very shiny too so it is an intense highlighter my camera turned off but i'm gonna try it with the anastasia brush and see how it applies if it doesn't look that good oh it's not even showing up so let me just apply it with my finger then yeah it looks much much better with my finger right up here on my nose it doesn't look as intense as the swatch, but maybe it's because I'm not applying a lot. Let me add a little bit more. Oh yeah, if I add a little bit more. Ooh, <laughs> that looks super, super shimmery. I have to even it out. Okay, I'm gonna try to take some off with the brush just to blend it in a little bit better. And then to set my entire face, I'm gonna use this one. I still have to do my lipstick and my lower lash line, but before I even apply more mascara, I'm gonna set my entire face. Look at this highlight, it looks so pretty. I'm still shocked at the difference my, of my hair. Like, look at how different it looks, oh my god. It just looks so good, like I still have these weird little bangs here. The waiting of not messing with my hair, putting so much heat on it, and just the products and treatments that I've done, it just has been working. So it just looks so cute, I'm so proud of it. Anyways, let me go ahead and go over the products just to kind of review them a little bit as first impressions. Um, it was a little bit of an up and down, you know, the entire time. So starting with the sunscreen, I think it's pretty good so far. It has not looked bad underneath this foundation. This is kind of like a product that you have to wait and see because I mean, it really does, it doesn't do much um, in one video. And the only thing that I can say is that it didn't make my makeup look bad today. Like the foundation applied nicely with it. It also doesn't make my foundation look oily or anything like that. It actually looks really, really matte today. So I love that because it's so matte and then the highlight, okay, we'll get to that. But the highlight looks really good right now. So moving on to the palette, it's not a new one, like I said, and it wasn't my favorite at first until these lashes were on and that just completely switched my look. So this one's okay, like maybe for like an everyday type of palette. It's not, it doesn't have like very, very intense tones. But anyways, like I said, this one wasn't that new so we'll move on but the eyeliner this one is i'm kind of like confused about it because it didn't dry down it applies very unevenly like it's not a smooth line whenever you're using it i love the brush applicator it's the same one that i'm used to so i know how to use that type of applicator it's just the product it looks kind of gooey and so whenever you're applying it it's really thick and it just doesn't let you have that clean line i didn't try it with the wing but i will eventually try it that way what i do like about it and something i can say is that it's super matte and that's exactly what i was looking for in an eyeliner so i'm gonna continue to play with it see what happens falsies i'm i don't even have to say much they look so good on me and i'm not used to wearing super super long eyelashes because i tell you guys this all the time whenever i wear long eyelashes that are long especially on the outer corner it makes my eyes look droopy just because i have like downturned eyes so i am always looking for eyelashes that look longer in the center and these are exactly that i was just not expecting for them to be this long but because they have these little spikes it completely changed my look and it made a huge huge difference they look so pretty like i'm i need to buy another pair i thought my favorite pair were some other ones that i've been using in my videos and i got a second pair already just as a backup but now i need a backup of this one because they look so nice and moving on to the foundation it does look really nice on me i do love how matte it looks it looks smooth i don't love the way that it looks with the sponge now now that it's dry it does look a lot better so I guess it's not so bad, but I just prefer it with either the brush or I'm pretty sure with my beauty blender. I'm just so used to that sponge, but I just feel like this sponge picks up a lot of the product, which gives it a lighter, a light, a lighter coverage to the foundation. But on this side, it just looks really full coverage. It looks nice. Anyways, the concealer is also very, very comfortable. It also blended out nicely. I prefer it on this side with the beauty blender like i said it picked up a lot of the product with the elf sponge but overall it blends out nicely and everything it just didn't give me the highlighted effect because it's not light enough it kind of matches my foundation shade 
just exact like it's the exact exact tone all right so next is the blush i thought this was really pretty again i didn't like it with the application of the elf sponge just because it picked up a lot of product but with the brush it was much much better and i didn't even apply a second blush on top like a powder brush and you can still a powder blush i feel like it looks just fine like this um but it is very very sheer so even if you get this shade where you feel like maybe it's a little bit too much because it's very very orange it's still a good shade like it's pretty sheer so no need to worry about that i feel like it's a good beginner uh, blush you know cream blush okay so moving on to the powder i really really like the way that this set my makeup the entire face looks really smooth and very matte if you don't like a matte finish you might not like this one but i feel like it did a really good job all over my face where the concealer is underneath my eyes and like i said i set my entire makeup with this one and it just looks really good so we'll see how it works throughout the day but so far i do really like it and then my bronzer also looks so good like it really brought that warmth back into my skin it looks good everywhere even on my nose and i used it kind of like a like a contour bronzing shade at the same time um i know contours is more like grayish shadowy but whatever works you know and this one looks really really nice i love how it looks on my cheeks on my forehead and just everywhere it's not muddy it's a really pretty warm shade and it's very smooth you can easily apply too much though i could tell right away that if i don't blend it out enough like you can see it a lot so just a little bit goes a long way and you can build it up as you want more product and then the highlighter is the last product which is the ColourPop one it's so pretty like i'm so in love with how this highlight looks and i haven't worn highlight in a little while but just look at how pretty it looks on my face like especially on my cheek right here it just glows and it looks really pretty and i really feel like it stands out a lot on my cheeks because the rest of my face is so matte but it still blends in really easily with everything else that's matte you know so i really like it on my cheeks it gives me a really intense glow so i'm really happy with this one for sure i'm gonna be using this one a lot more and then that's it the last things that i used were the lipsticks and i just have them here but i'll have all the product names and links listed below in case you miss an, a name of something or my shade or something like that i'll have everything listed below i'm really happy with it let me know what you think let me know if you tried any of these products and i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope it was fun to see some first impressions because just trying new products and doing first impressions you never know how your makeup is going to turn out or just what you're going to get so anyways like i said i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you go and i will see you guys in my next one bye